Ja, det är trumman här. Hallå! I just want to talk to you for a quick. Ja, yeah, no problem. No problem. Vad tid har ni Ja, 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 ja. Okej. Ja. It seems that the time difference in Europe has messed things up for Truman and Pierre. Finland is one hour ahead of the Central European time, which means that Team CWC started fishing already at 7 o'clock according to Central European time. The rules clearly state that the competition follows Central European time. These are not new rules to the format. It is not the first time that we had teams fishing in different time zones, but unfortunately, Jesus. it's the first time that a team has miscalculated their correct starting time. This means that their biggest fish currently at 9.2 kilos may not count when we total the day. Fly vs. Jörg 15 is brought to you by Leech, polarized sunglasses for fishing. Watski, your online store for boating equipment in the Nordics. Golden Catch. Fishing essentials for every angler. JR Logistic, staffing and recruiting of warehouse workers and truck drivers since 2003. Six hours of fishing is remaining before the first three points will be handed out and there is sure room for improvement on the scoreboard today. Right now, Team Catch With Care holds the point for the biggest fish, although their pike of 9.2 kilo may be reft out from the tournament manager since it's caught outside of the official tournament time. They have a stable second fish of 6.3 kilo. Right now we're in the lead. We have 11 fish, 442 uh, centimeters from the top five. So we're trying to catch more. Our goal is 30 fish today and uh, five meters. I think we need to have five meters again, stay up front. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sorry. So, well, uh, he started already, so I'll bet getting going on to it as well. Fulken, that's what's gonna do it. Let's go. Sorry for screwing up your intro. <laughs> I do not really care. <laughs> we are in the beautiful Netherlands and we heard the results and it was Pretty exciting. The results are not that crazy good. I would say regarding numbers, everything can happen. We want to beat Team Jigar with some quantities. Yeah. So let's catch them, Tim. Let's catch them. I feel the quantities. It's just a matter of time when they really start feeding and then we're going to beat Jigar's ass. We're still in beautiful Poland. We got a long shoreline to hit and then a long shoreline on the opposite side to hit on our way back. Andy's gonna continue on fishing big lures until yes. he catches that big mama. I'm gonna keep using five, six inch lures and we're gonna fish about two to three meters and just all along the shoreline here. We continue, we're pretty pumped up. Now we know the, some results and uh, for us it's like, oh, we go for numbers. Oh, we try for the big one and uh, pretty soon we will come back to our first spot and check if there is some current. If they and wake it up from yeah. the sleeping yeah. time. If But we, for now we, we try to do some numbers. Yeah. First cast of the episode two. First cast. We're now changing spots after the results. We are pretty optimistic to get something done because the fishes were on today more than the last day so high hopes and now we try to increase our numbers and increase our top five it's, it's pretty open so keep on using hey we, we, we i think we do pretty good we yeah, know yeah. this this place we fish now it's not much fish but no. uh, you have some decent one here and and uh, we have so far contact with four fish we have caught three yeah. nice ones and decent decent size two biggest so, so far and Nelly showed the guys they are in netherlands team bullseye nice so i think they, they are they are in netherlands so i think those guys they can have a giant anytime we continue our search for the giant the giant i uh, continue Using large baits, Sonner will go for a mix, I think, between yeah. small and big. Around four o'clock, dinner bell time. Let's do it, man. Yeah. Go on. I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And there he goes. Wow. 
You get some strong shoulders if you cast these weights all day. That's why I don't do it. <laughs> the hunt for desirable point has begun and after the report the teams have more control over their conditions. For some team it means a change in tactics while others can continue on their way. The furthest away from a point is the new fly team Hardy Grace which is the only team without a fish on the scoreboard. <laughs> that was a bite. That was definitely a bite. Not far away. There's it, there he is, there he is. He's coming, he's coming for the fly. Ah, oh, no, he's turning. on a black fly. Yeah, no, he's turning. Come to the Netherlands and catch a big pike, they said. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun, they said. So the reason why I cast in this direction, so it looks a bit wrong, that's uh, the name is the beach cast, because, yeah, you cast in the, do you have a fish? No. Oh, nice, a wheat fish. First catch of the day. It's quite long. Um, yeah, the reason why I use the beach cast is because of the wind direction. I'm right-handed and the wind comes from the right. So if I cast like this, normal way, the wind will push the fly yeah, towards me. So it could be dangerous for me. And yeah, so I don't want to fly or new, new piece of piercing. So um, I turn around. So the wind pushed the fly away from me. And then I can, yeah, let it fly in the other direction where I want the fly presented. So exactly over the wheat bank. Hopefully now or in the next minutes, the pike will come and strike. We are a bit struggling now. The weather is perfect. A bit of sun, slow wind. So it's exactly what we wanted, but I'm not sure why the pikes are not that hungry, but we will see. Maybe it will change later in the day. We are using different lines, different um, densities, uh, different type of flies um, with big silhouette, small silhouette, uh, bright ones, dark ones, but we haven't found the, the code. Big contrast between Team Hardy Grace and the leader Team Jigger.nu, who actually managed to catch a pike for their numbers already. The feeling in Björn and Jakob's boat must right now be, without exaggeration, very good. Oh. Such a nice feeling, such a nice feeling. When you hear that, such a nice feeling, such a nice feeling. What do you want to sing then? I got a feeling that tonight's got gonna a be feeling. a good night. <laughs> you know, the problem is, uh, I really don't want to sing anything, to be quite honest, since I can't. You, you rather sing than good. It's uh, fun for everyone else. Yes, no! Shh, 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 come, come, Ooh. come. Come, come. No. It will come again. Not a good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, you cannot, you cannot catch them all. You cannot catch them all, but... Then you take it. He's licked mine. <laughs> now taste lick yours. It, lick it, now taste it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Woohoo, back to back strikes. Baby! Did she really come again? Yeah. <laughs> of course, didn't you see what I have on line? Right, right, right. I have Hulkan. Of course, I want to want another taste. I of apologize. Course. I apologize. Hello, beautiful. Hey, you know what we've got? What? Lucky number 13, brother. You know what I got? Problems? I got one angry pike. This could be an improvement. It looks like it. I've got 82, 83 maybe. 83 there, right? 83 centimeters. Small improvement. Pike fishing. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. We are now in uh, driving up the river a little bit. We saw that Jigger just, just <laughs> that they had 11 pikes. And on a good day, you can easily beat that number here in the river. We've changed now the spot. We fish really shallow. Like here, it's a two and a half, three meters. Yeah, we hope to get some numbers now. Hopefully can compete with Jigger. And we had the first bites. Matthias had one, I had one. So they are not really on, but they are at least biting. Yeah. Yes, leader touch, leader touch. It's a small pike, but it's more. Oh, a really small pike. Leader touch. That's the smallest one. That's the smallest in the river, I think. So, number five. <laughs> Goodbye, my love. Thanks for checking out my lord. In the same country, but in a different river system, Anton and Robert are fishing in a water that does not have the current that they have hoped for. 
With a higher water flow and more pressure, the fish are pushed into the slow moving water areas together with the bait fish. But with the water not pushing hard enough, makes the bait fish spread out all over the lake and so does the pike. Not only do the pike spread out and are getting harder to find, but it also may deactivate the pike's feeding mode. Yeah, the problem is that they are moving so much. Uh, the fish that we can locate, they are not staying on one place. They are moving and moving pretty fast. And every time we, we locate the fish, we turn off the sonars, we start casting, and then Without any bites, we try to see where the fish is and they like disappear straight. It's, uh, it's even hard with uh, live sonars to, uh, to hunt for that ones who are moving so fast. And without, it's like casting with a big hope. <laughs> in a desperate attempt to catch a pike, or almost necessary in this situation, they choose to move a lot more and use their live sonar to find the fish. But as you already know, Today, it's not allowed to fish while using the live sonar. In perspective, we can easily see locks. It's wooden, some wooden locks. Here is some bait fish, some stones. And uh, yeah, fish, uh, when you see the pike, it's, it differs. Also, all the time I move uh, the transducer, changing the angle, depending on how deep and uh, what kind of bottom we have. So here, uh, like uh, normally, first I see fish here, and then I use forward to understand where direct directly it is. Pretty hard sometimes to watch all the screens at the same time. And now Robert's on the front. He have the same screens, and he's checking everything on the front. Wait, I have to turn off the sonar. Okay, now you can cast. A little bit more right. But it's too small. Yeah, but th this is uh, number four. Oh, yeah, yeah, for the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice color. Look, nice, huh? Yeah, soon will be a big one. Yeah. Grew up. If she survived. Because on this river, it's good to be fought and go quite fast. Bye bye. Now we 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 moving to the next spot. I try to eat something. Normally, you forget to eat. In this case, Normal sandwich with ham and cheese, fast. So we can do the first cast when we arrive to the next spot. Look at the weather, it's so nice now. This morning it was like, oh, so cold. It's still cold in the air, but you have the sun and that's so much easier to fish. And no ice in the guide. So no. now we can really fish jack bait and, and fill the line. This morning yeah. couldn't fill the, the bait properly, was stuck all the time and now it's perfect. That's a really good spot. Definitely one or two fish inside here. Yeah. Fish, fish! Oi, oi, oi! Big It's not the big one. Oh, lost it. So good take. But I could feel it. It was not the big one. But it was an 80 maybe. One hour has already passed since the phone report, which means that five hours of fishing is remaining of day one. No major changes in the scoreboard. Team Jigar.new in the lead, followed by Team Catch with Care. Team Relax are showing the Fly vs. Jerk audience pike fishing in Poland for the first time ever. But so far, Poland has not yet delivered. Come on, Pike. Yeah, my partner's hanging in there mentally, but I can see he's starting to panic because he's starting to look at the clock and he's starting to analyze, okay, we'll hit this spot here, few casts, we'll move to the next one, few casts, few casts, few casts. So it's that witching hour. But that stress comes in. That's why Andy needs me to tell him to relax. Then uh, one question. Yes. Pike. No pike. They're in the water somewhere. No pike me. Okay, this big lure. Okay. This you they only small lure. No big pike. Then uh, come on, fishing. I'm trying, Andy. I am trying. They just don't want to play with us today. Or not yet. Hey, man, fish! Big fish. Good fish. Oh, maybe 18, maybe. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Done it, done it, done it, done it, done it. Yes, whoa. whoa! What happens when you switch the smaller lures? You have results. <laughs> Ohio. 18, 
18. One fish then one fish and maybe one centimeter. For you fish, it long. better be at least one centimeter bigger. We're going forwards, not backwards, Andy. 18 1. Okay. I should have started with, with smaller lures. <laughs> no, I. <I've... laughs> this day, no, no fish, no pike, this big lures. This day, small lures. Small lures might be the melody in Poland today, so maybe Team Relax has cracked the code. In the Netherlands are Daniel and Sander from Team Neistroft, waiting for that famous dinner bell time. They are fishing the same water as last year, so maybe that 15 plus kilo pike have gained a kilo or two and might just be swimming somewhere nearby. Oh, look at this. Yeah, snook. Oh, so it's a snook. F***ing rat. Sander just missed the pike. First fish of the episode on the big twister. And the eel eaters here, those are the ones you want to catch. Those are usually the bigger pike. Three on a gram lure. Don't have to go to the gym anymore, so that's good. <laughs> we saw it following. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it followed Sander's lure. And you stole it. Yeah, leader touch because it's oversized. And uh, I saw it following. And I thought, all right, I'll get it. <laughs> yep, had to get this one. Sorry, Sander. Beautiful fish, round 65. Shoop. Bye bye. Yeah, we're struggling a bit because our spot uh, works better or the pikes on this spot are more active it, if the sun is not out that much and at the same time if there's some wind on it because this is an edge in front of us and we're standing on the shallow part so we are trying to search for the active pikes but I think because there's not enough wind today and the sun is out so much they're not really in the mood to bite I hope that the wind is gonna pick up soon if you have this scale on your lures, then you know that you're next to the preems. And it feels like strike, but it was only preem. This lure, I get two days ago a 12 kilo pike. So maybe today we get a 14 kilo monster for you. And we are in such big schools of preems, tons of preems. Ah, what's the next preem? Hell of <laughs> You see it on the, on the rod tip? Now you can see that I'm retrieving and the preems. Yeah, now, now, now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, I think it's a prasse or it's a hecht. Foul hook preem or pike? No, no, maybe it's, it's too big for a preem. Pike? Yeah, maybe. I'm I think it's too big for Prem. Yeah. Uh, the head shakes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, maybe it's a monster. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it paid oh, yeah, yeah. off. Just stay calm, Should I put down the raptors. No, I'm keeping him up. Is it a Prem? Is it a know. pike? It's a pike. It's a pike. Oh. It's going down again. Okay, bring oh. it on. There we are. But it's not that big what we need. It's but not the size we need, but it's a decent one. Yeah. I just continue fishing while Tim is taking care of the net. I can tell you something about this net. It's called the Boat Net Basic from Bullseye Fishing. I would say it's the toughest net on this planet or the toughest one I know at least. And even if the fish tangle up with trebles and everything, the net is coated in rubber, very thick, so it's easy to release those hooks. The frame is solid like hell. The handle is really, really solid. So this is really a tool made for pike fisherman. Next time, I hope I'm gonna be at the net with an even bigger pike. There you go, it's not a meter. A decent fish. Oh, zero? Yeah, no? no. It's a 99. <laughs> 99? Like, like a unicorn. A unicorn, yeah. Look at this beautiful pike of 99 centimeter. Maybe it's five and a half kilo, so it's not enough. So we don't wait her and try to release her quickly. And we will catch her again when she's 120. Nice one, Tim. Okay, so it's like uh, 
7.5 meters over there. There is one small one. Standing there, yeah? Yeah, so we start from that uh, gray building. But wait, don't cast now. And the main spot is over there. Wait, I'll turn off. The hill is over there ah. and the bait fish stays. Okay, like okay. That. that small spot over here, some kind of a, a small underwater hill, some structure with lots of bait fish upon it. And when I did pre a pretty big one have been staying just there between the bait fish. Now I cannot see it, but the structure is like that. It can lay nearby. The bottom and we cannot see yeah, it. Yeah, we cannot see it, but it's a, it's a small place. So I think like four or five casts enough. If it bite, it bite. If it's here, it's here. Now the second half of the day. Not so good. Not so good. Good start. Yeah. Pretty slow for us and it's it even more colder. I don't know if it's colder because of temperature or because we have no fish, uh, fish and adrenaline and yeah. So we need something to warm up and to put us higher in the rank. Yeah, but fish. Yeah, but fish. It's not super big, but a little bit bigger than we caught before. Be ready with the net, my friend. It's a nice one, it's a nice one. Yeah, it's in the net. That's what I, to what, what I talking about. You cannot see it, and but it's there. One cast. One cast. Boom, yeah. And my favorite tricky tail. Can you pass me pliers, please? Good sound. So guys, as I told you before, that's my favorite lure for pre-fishing. It's a tri tricky tail, 10 inch. Mwah. Love that one. So one on one. 1.1. 101. That's actually our first uh, big pike. pike. First meter pike. Yeah, first over meter. And I really hope not the last one. Beautiful one. Great condition. Yeah, here what uh, happens with the hook. Because we really want to take care about the fish. And hey guys, every time when you have a big pike on, uh, if you think that it can be some you know, troubles with extracting the hooks, better cut them off and always keep uh, good uh, cutters in your boat. And also spare hooks, of course. I'm gonna change one. Two nice fish straight up in the top five board within a short time. First, Team Bullseye with a fish that was just below the one meter mark. And now, Team Frep Cetrix with a pike of 101 centimeters. In Sweden, Team Jigar.nu is moving steadily forward and has not slowed down after their launch report. What a start to this afternoon. We really need that big fish. Yeah, no! Okay, one, fifth, sixteen. No! Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it again. Oh, come on, come on. Size? I have no clue, I didn't see it, I didn't see it, I didn't see it. Okay, two o'clock, 16 fish, 4.45, top five. And some action going on. Okay, I'll change strategy for a couple of sec couple of minutes now. Say what? I'll switch strategy. We're going out there. Out where? Uh, out there, fishing to this spot instead. It's actually a lot of, of vegetation here. With about four hours left of day one, only Team Jigger.new and Team CWC have cracked some kind of code and are fishing with great confidence. The rest of the teams haven't quite found the right one yet. So the search under the surface and in the bait boxes continue. I'm constantly changing lures. Lures, grams, few casts, switch, few casts, switch. But the colors of the day are turning out to be pearls, regular pearl, Blue pearl and gold pearl. And I think pearl white also. So if that's what's been working most of the day, let's continue on. This river, this no small pike. Normal pike, this 100 centimeters. Maybe this day, maybe 120, maybe 110 centimeters. Shoot for 140, why not? Okay. Break the ruler, go 145. Okay. 140 centimeters pike. Okay. This 25 kilo. And do you catch that 145? I'll carry you all the way back across the shoreline in the weeds. Then they come on. Come on, Pike. <laughs> Hello. Yoo-hoo. 
Come on. It's not helping you, Faisy. Come on. It's like this. We uh, have meat fish on all spots, so that's a good uh, sign. But this spot we fish now, we believe so much in this spot and we only missed one fish in the surface around 80 plus. Uh, no more contact, so, uh, but that's fishing. Everything is perfect here. But we didn't see so much bait fish this time, no. so it could be because of that. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we're going back to our first spot. It's a big area to fish, so uh, we think it's more fish there. And it was lots of bait fish there. So now we, we take it again when the sun has risen up a little bit, you are more light in the water and so on. And hopefully it's some more fish who start to move. Now we are rolling. We go back to another hole. We tried it here for half an hour. Right now we go back and try a kind of the same fishing on the shallow area to the deeper edges. We have to try that. So guys, we are back in the same spot than we fished last episode. We actually didn't get what we expected in the river, down in the river, so we drove all the way up again. So the plan is now to hunt Jigger and CVC. So that's our goal for this episode. We might fish like one hour in the dark because of the time change here in Finland, but we've got three hours daylight and the lure is on the water, so let's go. Hey Jonas. Yeah, what's up? I think I know the problem in this river there's only one pike and we lost it three times might be the point but i hope not one of the toughest day i've ever had especially in the netherlands that's so crazy so at the moment we are basically back on the spot where we started in the morning we know that here are some big pikes around and yeah we had some two strikes earlier in the morning but uh, now i try a yeah, really flashy fly so really colored one and strip it really aggressive. The completely opposite to Jonas, isn't it? You fish a really, I uh, think, natural one and quite slowly. Yeah, I'm just doing the complete opposite. I'm trying to slow it more down, using faster sinking line with a more natural colored fly. Let's hope they will react. We are moving. We're going back to the place we started. We did catch some decent fish down there, size-wise. So we're going back and see if we can find some more. Okay, what the hell happened? What? Everything is dead. Everything is dead? Yeah. Do you Maybe. have this uh, heart starter? No. W why not? I don't know. I don't have it. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's think. Let's think. Well, we have some uh, problems with our battery. Uh, there was some sort of pump uh, that uh, took a lot of a lot of power from the starting battery. So we're working on it and hopefully get it going really soon. Without a battery in the boat, life immediately becomes much more difficult for Björn and Jacob. Without the battery, they have no sonar, no shard, and the engine cannot be started. This is a problem that can cost them a lot of precious time. Just changed spots. We're now trying on a deep edge. No longer in between the weeds, just rocks. Very deep water nearby. See if this will bring us a good fish. And afterwards, when the sun starts going down a bit, we'll go back to the shallows and hopefully find Big Mama there. It's warm. Mm -hmm. It's really warm. It's quite nice actually for us. Usually not too good for the fish, but we'll see. We're getting quite some action here. That's good at least. I have a feeling I need to use um, a big lure now. Nice, dude. It's not, it's not so huge, but. Oh, I lost it. Uh, How big was it? Like 90? 85, 90, yeah. Mm. All right. Ah! So we arrive slowly on the spot. Now we have some. Oh yeah, yeah. We are back uh, where we start this morning. So we are drifting now to uh, the eddy, the backwater, and uh, then we're gonna stop. And then we're gonna hammer this this place down. 
and hopefully meet one or two more fish here. Not the, not the big one. Yeah, but that's a fish. Up now. Okay. Good strike. I don't know if it's 75, do you think? I don't know. When you measure, you'll see. Yeah. It's always about the strike. And when you're fishing these kind of spots, you know it could be a really big mama and you have this poof and then the poof. Oh. Is, is what? What did you say? What? A what? A puff. A puff? Yeah, it's a puff. You know the slack. Tuk. Oi, oi, oi. Puff. Ice cream. Double tail. Dark whisper. Okay. Good one. I think this is too small, but we check it. You have it there? Yeah, zero. Yeah, that's 75. Yeah. Exactly 75. One more fish for uh, catch with care. Bye bye. This was 75. It's not a big fish in this area, but we're so happy for it. And you know, when they take it, poof, it's nice, huh? Yeah. Now we take a bigger one. Okay. Marcus, what do you think? Is Daniel still casting some perch lures for pike fishing? Well, it's actually what we did the first <laughs> half of the day, but it didn't pay off. But I'm really wondering where they are and what they are doing. If they also changed for the big fish point, try to at least grab, what means at least, try to grab the big fish point. I guess so, because they didn't have numbers at the report, so I guess they will be fishing. Some spinnerbaits for big pike. <laughs> for, <laughs> with with uh, tiny <laughs> spinnerbaits for big pike, or maybe big lures, I don't know. But then, uh, yeah, that are 250 grams of pike lures. <laughs> Yeah, but I know that you have some bigger. I would say, I would say, uh, his arms. How much bigger? The circumference of his arms are slightly bigger than ours together. Than ours together, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the wind's picking up. It's good. It's pike weather. Sun's going down. Gonna go back to the shallow areas, and we're gonna see. If we can catch the same fish I caught last year, we're gonna go to the exact same spot where I caught the 128. See if it's home, or maybe it's sister or mother. <laughs> would be crazy. His mother would be nice. Yeah, or sister. Yeah. I'm going for grandmas only. Yeah, we just missed two fish. We lost one, I missed one. Followed a couple times to the boat. Not huge fish, around 90 centimeters, but would have been nice for the top five. Also just nice for the no faith, but hey, it's fishing, you can't always win. And now we're gonna go to the winner spot, see if we can get a big one there. So close, so close. Yes. Yeah, this was uh, interesting. Okay, okay go, slow out. go slow out. So I'll, I'll check for stones. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, we've had some uh, heaters on uh, and some pump that we just didn't care about, which we should have. Uh, that was pretty stupid, but uh, hey. The engine is going, we're up and running. Good thing is it's not large uh, transports on, uh, on this river at least, so uh, I'm not really worried, but uh, yeah. Keep you learn, you know. You learn as long as you live. Team Jigar.nu are back on the track after a little misadventure with the battery and can now continue to defend their own two points and go for a third point. In Finland, our team Frap separates doing what they can with a river that has a poor current at the moment. They see this as a good opportunity to reach places they normally can't. Normally we, we cannot even stay here because normally from here goes super powerful stream and that's what we are waiting for because we need it and uh, the fish gonna be much more active here. But at the same time, while there is uh, no big stream, we have a chance to try to fish that area. We never fished it before because as I told you, you cannot even come here with the boat. But now it looks, uh, it's pretty shallow and here is kind of backwater. It looks promising. That's actually one more model we haven't used today. 
it's Frapp Funky Shed. And uh, the main key for that lure that you can fish it super slow. It works on the slowest speed possible and sometimes it helps. That was a mistake from my side. Just yesterday I put a new line. A new line, it's always a new line. You need to fish some few days with the new line so it becomes softer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mother fucker. Two times. I saw it, but not, not big, but... No, 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 not big. Like, it was hooked or no? No. Missed. I kept it for the second time and it did second time. I stole your pike. Ah! Small, yeah? Sorry. I lost one. That could be number eight. Actually, hey, I also started to... Yeah, yeah, twitch it like... Twitch a little, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. They are sitting on a bottom. Yeah. You need to trigger them a little bit. The days in Five versus Shark are long, and it doesn't matter if you're catching fish or not. This means that most of the time you need to carry out all your needs right there in the boat regardless of whether it concerns eating or nature's calling. Yeah, all right. Uh, bro fisk, bro fisk, bro fisk. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> How is that even possible? It's a, did you? Don't answer that. <laughs> Look at that. I was about to take a piss. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You did your job. I apologize, okay? Don't apologize. <laughs> Finally, some action. Good job. I pissed in my pants a little bit. Damn you, Jacob. <laughs> but I'm still happy that you caught a fish. <laughs> this was good fun, guys. Just when we released the drone to take some aerial footage and Bjorn was about to take a leak, I had a strike just by the boat. <laughs> Chaos, love it. You're okay, buddy? I'm okay. You're warm? Bit wet. You're warm at the moment and cold <laughs> in a minute? Too soon? Too soon. I'm, I'm not 100% dry right now, <laughs> but still happy. <laughs> that better be an upgrade. Mira's Mouse, Black Pike Custom. Irresistible. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, take the meshing board up. I'm just gonna reel in. Yeah, no! Really? Good fish? I have no clue. Okay. I didn't set the hook. I did set the hooks, but it came out. Okay, try one more. Try one more. Send one more. Move. One more? Yeah. Okay. She's resting in the net, so uh, if you move your feet so I can just put down the, the board. Perf. You know, I think we should do. Catch fish? No, but when we when we go over here, we should anchor and cast around and yeah, cast around yeah, yeah. and then move. Yeah. Thirty meters and uh, rinse and repeat. I agree. I totally agree. Okay, let's have a look. Eighty-five. Eighty-five. Eighty-five and a half. <laughs> Upgrade. Eighty-five and a half. And a half. And a half. And a half. Nice. Good nice job. Nice bike. With a working engine and a little piss in the pants, Bjorn and Jakob deliver one more upgrade to the top five board. And in the Netherlands, yeah. Team Neistroff have nothing special to report, since only the small ones are taking their lures. No, it's not big, but it's a fish. It's a fish. He was rocking his whole body. That's why it's pretty big. Of course, Maze Runner. Again, it strikes. You know what we call this in uh, Holland? A tie. Yeah, unfortunately, last two hours we haven't had any fish, but uh, yeah, there are still, let's see, three hours to go. That could be enough, you know, to catch everything, to, to catch the, the big fish point. Um, it's tough, tough conditions, but that's pike fishing. Guys, I like all of you, but I hope you're doing bad because oh, we're doing bad. Yeah, I have no idea. I think CBC and Jigga will do their thing. They have some good fishes, but it's hard to say. It looks like they are struggling. When we check the weather forecast, we have nearly the same shitty conditions all over Europe. It doesn't really matter where they are, so. Ich habe keinen Kleber. I have no clue how they are doing, 
if they are struggling or not. Yes. Oh, that was oh, that's a, a good fish. That was a nice strike. Nice head shakes, yes. Get the net. That was a really nice one. Well, it's a good fish, I think. Hopefully it stays on. No, it's not so big. It's a nice fish. Yeah, it's a nice fish, but I thought it's bigger. Be happy about what you get, not what you not get. Yeah, that's true. Thanks <laughs> for helping. Quick net thing. Tusentak. Was she good? Ah, it felt so much better. Do you need help or should I keep no, on no, casting? No, I'm good. Keep on fishing. Okay. There it comes. And it is exactly one meat. No, 101. 101. Yeah, it's still a nice fish and you see the... Check the eye out. He has yellow fever, probably. Okay, let's weigh it very quick. And it is 5.88. Let's quickly release it. There she goes. Bye bye. Kiddo, okay, thanks, man. Giga bugule. Giga bugule. Giga bugule. So, guys, we actually had one fish that brought us the hope back. That was a 101. So, I think we've got a top five now of 284. That means two fishes around a meter within the last three hours and we are in the game, I hope. So um, that's possible. We missed some good fishes in the morning. Very unlucky, but now I hope the luck comes back and we get like two more good fishes to get the hunt on Jigger started. No one knows if the other teams haven't caught any big fishes too, but at least we it would be good, you know, to fill the top five paper up. If we have three in the uh, five in the top five, that would be good. We're working on it. Keep on using matters. Our strategy is to catch a, another big pike or a, heavy, a heavier pike than 10 kilos. We're not going to continue with numbers because we just didn't find the key today. I think the issue was this really nice weather paired with two low wind speeds. The water is also clearer than the last day. So what we did now is fish in general a little bit deeper around those big bait fish schools and it already paid off once. So we have three and a hour, three and a half hours left. Two to and a half that. only. Two and a half. Sorry, two and a half. <laughs> yeah. Two and a half. Come on, two and a half, only two and a half hours. Okay, but one bite can be enough. Yeah, Just we just keep on fishing for one big fish, yeah. So it's not that easy to be constantly in the right position of the boat because the wind comes from the side and you have only a small channel where you have to fish and the breams are really moving. So it's really difficult. We're using some electronics for this, the side imaging and the Mega360. And it helps us a lot to find the schools of bream and cast over it and retrieve, retrieve and hope and wait for the big strike. I'm still, I'm still positive that we get a bite from a big fish. I'm really positive. It worked in the morning. Yeah, but sometimes you can't hook them. That's part of the game, especially with hard lures. But we think that's what it takes currently to make them bite. At least the big ones, yeah. Pierre? Yeah, it's going to drop here. What? Yeah, a little bit more right, because the current is going to push us. Just a little push there. Here's the drop. Yeah, that's good. Seven meters here. It's so many times you, you catch the, the last fish or the only fish in the last cast. Happens for me many times actually. So, uh, ain't over until the last cast is done. Come on, Pierre. The best fish totally disappear actually from the, from the area. Uh, the morning was much more action or much more bait fish uh, jumping on the surface and you can see on the side quite a lot of, uh, of bait fish. 
No, nothing anymore, but still, uh, that's the best place so far today. So we need to fish where we know there can be some nice pike. So we will insist there until uh, until the last few casts, and that's it. That's it for today, anyway. I'm not feeling this, brother. Yeah, I think uh, Kuma swim and a little bit faster, and and uh, just go whoa 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 whoa, whoa. a little bit faster. What was the sound again? <laughs> whoa 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 whoa! You have to do it as well, you know. <laughs> whoa whoa whoa! Let's try one of these Kuma swims. I'm going for Kuma Swim Black Pike. At least we're having fun. Well, actually we're not, but... Fish? Yeah. Now we're having fun. Um, I have no clue. None. Damn it. Okay, here. Need to touch it or...? Oh no, just push it in. Might be a little bit longer. Oh, fish. Jacob? Yeah. Very good. Black pie. Good. Finally fish. Mm. It's been really, really slow. We have two hours to go. We've had two a hours and three minutes. We've had a mental breakdown or two. Yeah. Pike number 19. Let's get for let's take one more. What did it take? Three casts? Four casts? Three. Kuma swim. Black pike. Does it again. It's not that one that we need, but still, you know. Every centimeter may count. Well, maybe, Bjorn. Might like be 84. <laughs> maybe one centimeter upgrade? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. So you're telling me there's, there's a, a chance. <laughs> 84. <laughs> yeah, 84 and a half. And can we use half and half? And <laughs> <laughs> 84. 84. Well, it's an upgrade. You can't complain. Oh, this is nice weed here, man. <laughs> Okay. Could you be normal for like five minutes? Bjorn is a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what can I say? I love to hate him or hate to love him. Whichever. We're coming. No, 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 no. We're no, coming no, down to the last few hours of the day today. So yeah, a few minutes to relax so I can hit it hard the last hour. <laughs> My back is just killing me after today. Andy said to switch to 15 grams. Yes. Because the water is moving a little bit faster and it's lifting our lures up, so I had 10 grams. I couldn't even get it to touch the bottom, so switching over to 15. Still same color combination that's been working us for us the whole day. So just making small adjustments. Even at 15 grams, I can't even keep it at the bottom. The current is just picking up more and more. So I have to make another adjustment. I'll probably go up to 20 grams. And I'm trying to keep it as close to the bottom because we're fishing somewhere around four to five meters, not the two to three that we we're fishing earlier. So I really don't want it to be dragging across the top of the water. The fight against the clock and aching bodies continues. The team that might have the most energy left is Team Naysgroff, who are basically just waiting for the clock to pass four hours in the hope of repeating last year's catch. But this year, they are not alone on that big fish spot. All right, so this is unbelievable. We are right now at my 28 centimeter spot. And look who we got over there. I think they smell big pike. And I think I just heard them scream that they missed a huge one. So I know they're around, but yeah, I mean, they are the fly guys. We don't, uh, we don't feel them uh, breathing in our neck. We are very, um, <laughs> very sure that we are gonna get the big one. And that they are just gonna get a follower and then it swims right to us. Yeah. Pretty positive. So Jonas, I think would be the perfect time to get a really big one. What do you think in front of Nace? I think you mean a pike that's uh, longer than 129 and uh, more than 16 kilos. Oh man, <laughs> I don't want to call them. Oh no, this will be hard. Pretty nice that tomorrow is only one call. And then after the last call, 
tomorrow, then we will heat up because nobody is um, thinking about us anymore. That's a nice plan. We'll do our best to have a good surprise for them in the end. Hey, what's that? I don't know. What is that? <gasps> it's the dinner bell. It's ah. four o'clock. All right. So now they'll start feeding. Yeah, we have to be ready. Ready you know, for the big one. You know what's even better? No. Did you smell this? What does it smell like? Food. Dinner. Dinner. We are ready. It's four o'clock. Means the pike are gonna get active. They're gonna get their last feed before it gets dark. So now is the time for us to get a big one. Just like the last year. Last year we didn't have one single pike up until this moment, up until four. Like any, any single cast we make can make the difference. Just need one fish. One giant fish. We're not going for our top five today. We're not going for numbers. We just need one fish. I had a bite. Ay, ay, ay. Just, just here near saw, the boat. I saw it. Yeah, but, but she saw the boat already. Fuck. That was a bite just under the trolling motor. And again, the bite was like, Dunk. Mm. We're not, not lucky today. You will, you will look on it. Hmm? Where it is, you will, you will try to find it. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's check. Fuck, looks like. Or she gone? Yeah, cause she feel the hooks. Or she lay on the bottom. Whew. Slow day, really slow day. But that's how we was expecting the river day. Yeah, but really it's even more slow. Right now, uh, I'm not happy because uh, uh, we, our list is almost empty. Our numbers are not so big as uh, we need to take the number point. Our uh, top fish is not so big to take any point. We don't have top five, so uh, I in, cannot feel in, happy. In, in, in a straight word, it means we are a bit in ass. Yeah, but of course we, we, we have two more days and, and we have two more hours actually. And uh, we have two more days on a different water. But, uh, but also the, we didn't stop today. Yeah, of course. Now, now we're going to change the spot. Try another bay. Yeah, let's go. I think it's enough, yeah. enough here. Slowly, 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 slowly. Oh, slowly, next. Oh, yeah. Keep calm. <laughs> that looks good. Get it, man. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Bra, Henke. Oh. oh, good job, man. Thank you. Okay, one more. We need one more, man. Very good. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> good job. So, here she is. Lovely. Yeah, that must be over 75. Yeah, should be. Yeah, yeah. Oh, beautiful fish. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, perfect. Oh, that's a 92. Awesome, man. Really nice. Yeah, that's an increasement after the smaller one. Cut off my tail. Not mine, but <laughs> the tail from my lure. I changed the lure, caught the smaller one, and now she visit us. And yeah, let's bring her back to the water. <sighs> Goodbye, baby. Thanks for coming. Uh, <laughs> nice fish. Very nice. Believe in yourself. Never give up. Also shitty days are good days. And a bad day on the water is better than a good day at work. So let's fill the paper. So I think right now we are on, uh, what is it? 376. And I think Jigger had like 400 something at the lunch report. So a meter pike would be fine. And we, I think 480 could be enough. Yeah, 104 would be nice. We are on 480, but I don't think that that many teams had a very good fishing today. I would be really happy with, a, with one more meter pike and I think we are in the race. So 
Let's see! Doing the math without all the variable is not an easy thing, but the truth is that just one more approved pike takes Team Kingfisher straight into the boiling water together with Team Jigger.new. One hour is now remaining until the first points are handed out. 104 is what we need, right? Yeah, for 470. <laughs> If that is enough, one. To give ourselves a chance. Fish? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That was fish. I didn't even have four meter line out. It took on the drop when it turned. And it's 3.8 meters. Yeah. That is a fish. That will be on the bottom. I don't care around that bait. Uh, uh, right side, right side, right side. This one is going deep. Ah, good. This head is big. Head is big. Improvement. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Kuma swim, guys. Black pike UVO hooks. Okay, you hold it there. I've got her here. 95. That's a nice pike. That's a nice pike. Nice pike. 95. That's a big upgrade from uh, 84. So 11 centimeter upgrade. 61. We're getting nice. there. Nice. Uh, we don't know what we need, but hey, we said 470 may give us a chance. 461. Uh, 461. One more of these, and we're we're getting there. Really nice. Awesome. Good. Move. Nice. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. So we blew across the whole area and finally we end up next to Team Neistroft and right next to them our beloved fly guys. So we have a deja vu. <laughs> this spot is highly occupied. It's crazy that finally uh, three teams fish one water and end up on the same spot. And that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a big fish 10 meters away. Oh, looks good. Looks good. I really didn't expect that. This is not a secret spot for sure, but uh, we've been there in training and I haven't seen them there. Yeah. Did you see the fly guys? No, no. no. And I, didn't see Daniel there too. Maybe they train with the other boat there, but I don't but, think so. Um, this is another spot we fished while training and also caught some really nice pikes here. So let's cross fingers that the pikes here are more active than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nine! Left hand. Hmm? Yep. That would have defeated us. Oh my God. I get a... I get a strike and short times I feel the fish, maybe one second and then it come off. So it's, I couldn't say how big it was, but in the end, in this time of the tournament, we're only, yeah, less than 30 minutes. That's, it's really hard. <laughs> My back hurts so bad from standing <laughs> for 10 hours. <laughs> Not even the pain pills are helping, so I need to sit down for a second. But of course, there's 25 minutes left, so I get to sit down for maybe two seconds before I have to get back up. No problem. Then it is problem. This. Oh, my. B then it. <laughs> what? Pike. One pike detected. Let's cast Roberts. Let's cast Roberts, not a huge one, but pike. Wait a little, wait a little. I will tell you when to cast 18 meters from the boat. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, cast. Yeah, directly over there. Last 20 minutes, but we never give up. And do our best till the boat. Oh, pike, 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 pike. pike. Pike detected. I come in with the net. Is it close? 
uh, it will be maybe counted one. <clears throat> not huge? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. No, it will not be. What? Small one? Small one. Ay, 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 ay. A little touch. Yeah. But I think that was not that one we saw. <laughs> yeah, it just maybe came up. Anyway, some action. action. Look on the belly. Yeah, the beautiful, beautiful one. Yeah. Go from my left side, please. Yes! One more. Not that it's a it's big fish, but I managed to hook something. <laughs> sake. Like it's really not an upgrade, now. but still, it's a fish. Finally, we caught a pike, number 21. We're gonna need a bigger one to, to, to have top five. You know, number-wise, we don't know. We don't know what the other ones did, but we've lost so many. And uh, so this one feels, this is a small one, but it feels really, really good to have one in the net, finally. Back you go, baby. Ah, thank you. Unfortunately, not an upgrade, but still a fish. It felt really good. Let me tell you that. No. Fish? Yes. Shit, man. What's the matter? Why? Why? Come on. That's the fourth one in a row that I don't manage to actually hook. This is... Insane. Only a few casts are now remaining before the first 10 hours is finally over. For the new fly fishing team, Hardy Grace, it has been nothing but hard. With a couple of minutes left of the day, they are the only team with zero pike caught. Maybe five or six casts a day per person, maybe five. But it could be enough. So the other guys have to wait during the phone report because we end the fight with a monster. <clears throat> now we are on the spot we we had an attack and, an, and a good follower. Now we have just only yeah three more minutes on the on the on the clock. But yeah, maybe maybe it's enough. I hope it's enough. It has to be enough. And if not, then we go home as a in Germany we say Schneider. So without a fish the whole day, uh, we will see. So I think two or three more casts. No bike in this river. No bike that wants to bite our lures. It's a pity. That's so sick. They are here and we cannot catch them. Yeah. Maybe in the evening we have to read some articles how to catch pike. I think we need sauna. Yeah. That's for sure. Definitely. So, last cast, episode two. I'm not one of those last cast guys, but I heard some crazy stories. Some crazy stories? Check up. Yeah. Make it count. Come on, fish, last chance to be a movie star. We never give up. We'll constantly keep casting to the final seconds. Day one has come to an end. It's time for the teams to call each other and present their results, and for us to hand out the first three points. Yes, Jonas from Team Hardy and Grace. Unfortunately, we have nothing to report. We had not managed to get a fish into the boat. Team Relax here, Andy and Danny. We didn't have a good day either. Two fish total. 160 centimeters exactly, both combined. Yes, this is Team Nestroft. We only have to add a few numbers. We have a total of six fish, but nothing to add to our big five. So our total of the big five is still, what is it? 161. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> like they say, every centimeter counts. Yeah, it does indeed. Well, at least that's what she tells me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's continue. It's team uh, Frapp Zetrix. Uh, we have in total eight pikes. 
Uh, our top five is one zero one. Hello and good evening from Team Kingfisher. It's Mario speaking. Um, we have a total amount also of eight pikes. Um, the biggest one we caught is 101. In weight it's five kilos and 28. And uh, it comes to a total top five of 376. Have a good evening all. Hello, here's Marcus from Team Bullseye Fishing. We have a total of six fish. Biggest fish was 1200 gram perch. Congrats for the perch. I'm jealous. We also had a nice perch. Does it count? Was it on top water? <laughs> no, unfortunately yeah. not. And uh, total length is 251 centimeters. The biggest fish was 99 centimeters, but we didn't weigh it because we thought we don't have to. It's too small anyways. Hello guys, hello guys. This is Bjorn from Team Jigar. Uh, we had a uh, slow day. Uh, we missed a little bit too much today, but we have a number of 21 pike. We have a uh, top fish of 5.5 kilos and the total centimeter of the five biggest is 461. This is uh, Catch with Care. Uh, we had a really slow uh, afternoon. Uh, we managed to catch total four fish. Uh, the top five, 370. And uh, the biggest fish, 9.2. Good job, guys. Well done. Cry babies. <laughs> and you mean need 480 at least. This is not gonna be there. <laughs> Boy, this is dangerous, dude. Chigar has two points. Yeah. They have the... Top, they are the only team that had a top five with five fish. What the f Never ever had some teams win with 450 centimeters. But it's, it's, it's 461. good. 461. 461? <laughs> oh, I did not see that oh. coming. Oh, I was so scared that it was without points. You know, the top five. I said, no way. There is no way in hell. <sighs> unlucky. Unlucky. That's really unlucky. They only needed a 91 fish. One more fish. If we would have got one more, we would have had the top five points. One, one meter. This is really insane. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> well fought. Well fought. Well fought. <laughs> Only Jigger top five. Only. So it's not that bad. But let's do this. Let's leave Poland. Let's go see if they got fishing. If, if I if I understand this right, yeah, we still have the biggest fish. Even if they remove if they remove that uh, nine point two, we still have the biggest fish anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bjorn and Jakob are the big winners after day one, and they take home the top five point and the number point. Team Catch with Care has reported their nine point two kilo fish that was caught earlier in day one. Jesus, ne Tournament ne management have now investigated the mishappening of the starting time and therefore, by unanimous decision, have decided to remove the fish from the official record. No reprimands or warning will be given to CWC since the mistake was made in good faith and with the best of intentions. It now remains to see if the removed fish will affect the result at the end of the whole competition. Luckily for Team CWC, their second biggest fish was enough for a point today. The rest of the teams entered day two with zero points, but they are well aware that there are six points left to fight for. All right, let's go back. Tomorrow we have a plan for a different, a different place, big lake, uh, full of big pike. So episode number three is going to be the one for us. I know it sounds stupid, but when I get really stressed out, all I'm thinking is that I'm the Frito Bandito. March 16th, we will show the final episode at Krug or Company Bar and Nightclub in Central Jön Shopping. The after party will take place at the same venue. For more information, canalgratis.se slash fly versus jerk.